everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back to sit down and show you what we have got P for Christmas this year. Um, P's five if you're new to my channel and you're just looking for some inspo. I apologise about my skin. I had a breakout last night which I rarely get and I've got like loads of bumps on my forehead so makeup is minimal today like always. Um, yeah I thought I'd sit down and hopefully give you a little bit of inspo for... Christmas presents for a five year old. This is the year that P is into LOL dolls. Um, if you would have watched my what we or what P received for her birthday video, you will see that was quite LOL heavy. And again, not sure of the way my videos are going up during Vlogmas, but if you saw the stocking video, if that goes up before this, um, there's a lot of LOL doll stuff within her stocking. So this is the first year where she doesn't necessarily have like big items like there's nothing like massive in size she got a lot of like the big stuff for her birthday like the um the barbie house and things like that i did have a lot more for her but it's stuff that she hasn't asked for and i know it sounds silly but i've just kept it for florence so for example in a boot summer sale i got a really nice two-story sylvanian house for 10 pounds and she didn't necessarily ask for it i don't really have the storage for it so i've just kept it for florence for a couple of years time um so i'm focusing on things that she's actually asking for this is the first year where she's been like mummy i'd really like this so that is where I'm at with presents. So it doesn't actually look like too much, but LOLs are so bloody expensive that it's uh, it's not nice from a bank balance and they don't really go into the sale. They go on clearance and they go like hotcakes and I haven't really got many cheap ones into the video. Starting off with something that I actually picked up secondhand. Um, I don't think P will really know that it's secondhand. So if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that P loves her books. She also loves her audiobooks. She has done for a couple of years now and she loves the Faraway Tree DVD and I love it. I love Enid Blyton and I love this. I managed to get this on Facebook Marketplace from someone ages away and she posted it for me and I paid for postage. I think I paid like £8.50 for this which is so cheap. This originally came from the book people. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware but the book people, was it the book people went into administration last year? I think it was. Either way, they're really hard to get your hands on. And people, like, put them up for so much money. Uh, is it C? We've got four C five CDs. Hang on. Five CDs for the Magic Faraway Tree, all individually wrapped. And then we've also got five CDs of the Folk of the Faraway Tree. Um, these are read by Kate Winslet. I listened to a sample on Amazon and they're just so magical. Um, P is now into me reading her like big books like The Far Away Tree um, and her listening to them so I haven't got her the book yet I think I might get it for her next year when she's that little bit older but she's got her audio book which I think she's just going to absolutely love a couple of random bits Argos had a cracking sale in I think it was July when things started opening up again um, Although Argos was open the majority of the time, I picked this up. This was in the sale. I think it should have been like £16. It went down to like 4 25 It's just like an interactive thing. It's got a fluffy tail. Um, and you like sit it on your shoulder or sit it on the table and like spins around and does loads of stuff. Um, it speaks, does dances, things like that. So it's a little pixie, pixie bells. Um, they had a couple of, of designs, but I got the purple one because purple's one of P's favourite colours. So I picked that up, so I don't think she knows what it is. I don't know what it is, but I hope she likes that. Something that you have already seen is the Little Live Pets dog. I've showed this in a haul. Again, just a little interactive toy that I think she'll really enjoy. I think I paid £5 for this in the entertainer. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Um... But I was stressed at the time of like getting her presents, so she's got that little dog which I think she'll enjoy playing with. What else have we got? 
another little interactive thing why did i get noisy toys i do not know this is probably more catered for florence but p absolutely loves waffle doggy we watch it every single evening when we have dinner um this sings a song where where's the paw Um, so I got this in boots it was five pounds in the sale as you can see the boot sale was incredible um, and I got a lot of my shopping done in that especially for Florence so we've got waffle doggy which I think she's just gonna lose her mind over she still loves walking around with her stupid little yappy dog on a lead thing she loves that so I think she'll love waffle as well um, I got a couple of Barbie bags. Now I know she doesn't need Barbie um, because of what she got for her birthday, but these are different. These are bath Barbies. Ken, mermaid man, merman Ken. I can't. So um, Neil managed to get this one for me in Morrison's. Morrison's had their, it was like their toy sale back in October and she went down, I think she was, should have been £11 and she went down to £5.50. Um, I could have got the whole collection but she just doesn't need it. So we've got this one with like the pink and purple hair, the blue uh, and then she's got a purple tail that attaches when you get her out and I think she's going to absolutely love her. She's got the little dream topi one with the orange hair last, was it last year or the year before and she loves her. So that will be the baby, this one will be the mummy. And then we've got Ken, who will be the daddy. Um, he has been really hard to get hold of. And then luckily I managed to get him on the, what was it? Amazon Lightning, Amazon Prime Day thing. He was only like £8.50. And I know I say only, I got Barbie for five. But Merman, he's great, I love him. Um, so he's got his little necklace on, he's got his six pack of dreams, he's got his little cuffs and he's got like a pink tail, no, I'm not too sure if you can see that, pink and blue tail. So she's going to absolutely love her little Barbie set for the bath. I really don't have much at all, I feel like I need to go out and buy more, I don't, I really don't. Editing Jess, you don't need to buy any more. Um, Sylvanian Families Kangaroo. Five pounds. Five. Five pounds. She doesn't really play with her Sylvanians. I'm not too sure what it is. She went through a stage of really loving them. She got the bakery last year and the gypsy cart. And what else has she got? My next door neighbours, their grandchildren grew out of a whole load of Sylvanian stuff and they gave us like the school and like loads of other bits. So she doesn't really need any big sets, which is why I took away the house. Um, but she loves figures and stuff. So I thought for a fiver, a bargain. Five pounds. I'm sorry. They're normally like 18 quid. So we've got the baby in the pocket of the mum. We've got a little sister and then we've got the dad. Um, I think she's going to love those. So it's just like a nice little extra. I think why it looks like I haven't got that much is because this is literally just from myself and Neil. Whereas normally I sit down and show you what she's got from everyone, like I did for the birthday. Um, something that P asked for, she asked for Play-Doh. Um, if you watched my birthday or P's birthday haul, you would have seen that she got the dentist one. That was one thing she asked for. Um, the other thing that she asked for was the burger, like barbecue set. Um, so I picked this one up for her. I was hoping this was going to go into the Say No's toy sale and it didn't. So I got this again on the Amazon Prime Day sale. I think I paid seven, seven pounds fifty. So not the cheapest, but she's going to enjoy it. You've got like a little, um, like a barbecue set here. I assume it comes with a couple of plates. I hear two plates, some utensils, and like a little chip maker. Don't know if you can see that. Focus on the box, not on my face or don't got it there and then it comes with boxes of oh, tubs of play-doh as well um so i know she's gonna really enjoy that and keep her quiet so picked that one up for her what else have we got i've got some jams 
these aren't going to fit her for ages um, because she has got such a small waist. She's still in age two to three pyjamas, which are so short in the leg, but they fit her around the waist. If she goes into three to four, they literally just fall down. Um, so these are age four to five, so hopefully she'll be in them like this time next year. Um, so they're leopard print, cuffed bottom, hot pink ring, ring, waistband, um, and then same for the top. And I just thought they were really cool. Um, they were from Boots. And I remember getting these with my friend Emmy for an absolute steal. So they should have been six pounds. They went half price to three. And then the till messed up. So the man put in three pounds. But then it was half price of three. So I got a set of pyjamas for £1.50. And I mean, I'm not going to complain chuffed about that so she's got a new set of jams um another little extra thing that she's got is this hatchimals pixie i don't really know what this is i saw it in bargs for 1.99 and i thought what an amazing price it's good for um like a gift for other children as well but obviously with no parties and stuff this year i didn't pick any up i just got one for p um she likes hatchimals so i thought i'd get it for her just a little bit of plastic tap that she'll enjoy playing with for quite a low price. So I've got that. Talking of plastic tat, she has got some of these boxy girls. I don't know what they are. I just got these in the Sano's toy sale probably like two years ago. And they've just been sat in my stash waiting for like when she's a little bit older. So we've got Lena and B. I assume they're sort of like an LOL doll style. I think she'll like those. And I think they were like £2.50 in the sale, £3. Can't really remember. But she's got those. She has got a book which is actually still in the Amazon packaging. So I will undo it. But I've kept it in there because I didn't want it to get bent. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the... Oh, I swear to God, if they don't do that this year. Um, every single year at Christmas time, they release a new Julia Donaldson book to TV show adaptation. Last year was The Snail and the Whale. Didn't really like that one, not going to lie. And I believe this year is Zog and the Flying Doctors. We love Zog. We always watch it. We always read it. They always read it at school. So I picked up Zog brand new from Amazon. This was, I think it was... $3.99 when I got it. I'm not one for buying brand new books. You know what I'm like, I always buy second hand. Um, but I needed to boost up my order <coughs> to get free postage. Um, so I picked up Zog and I think she's going to absolutely love it. I still need to get a couple more. I need to get Superworm. I need to get Scarecrow's Wedding, The Ugly Five and... Is that it? I think so. Yeah, I do need to get a couple more. So hopefully over the next year I'll be able to find them in sea shops and stuff. But I'm going to put that away nice and safe so that it doesn't get bent. So I think she's going to really enjoy having that as a book as well as... Whoop, it almost showed my dress. Um, I think she's going to really enjoy having that as a book as well as the TV show if that happens. Who bloody knows at this point? Um, something that we're really umming and ahhing about getting, but I just thought it's a really good staple to have, and if she doesn't get into it straight away, I know she will within this next year, and that is Lego. Um, P loves her Duplo, but she, I don't know, I just feel like she should probably get into something a little bit more nimble now. Um, and then I can put the Duplo away for Florence when she's a little bit older. I got this in the sale in Tesco's. It was on clearance. Um, I don't really know if it's going to be any good. But I just thought for a little starter pack, it would be really good. My dad got her a little set of Lego for her birthday, um, which we did together. So I think this comes with like a little... Um, booklet inside to like give her some inspiration of things that she can make um, so this has got these bits in again move my face there we go I don't know how many pieces it's got in it doesn't say I don't think um, but yeah for I paid £11.50 for this it comes in a nice little carry case which was one of the selling points for me I thought it was a really nice way just to keep everything together 
Um, so I thought £11.50 is not going to be too bad. Um, and then I also got this base, base plate. Um, and I picked this up from Home Bargain. So I'm hoping that, I assume it says compatible with leading brands. So I'd imagine this works with this. Um, yellow is P's favourite colour. They had loads. They had red, grey, like a dark grey, blue, green and then yellow. I don't think they had white. Um, so I picked up this, so hopefully she'll like it. Something that I was having an eyeing about and I thought I'd rather get it at that price and then not regret it. Um, so hopefully she'll like that. So she's got that. And then finally, let's move on to LOL stuff because I have got a couple. Um, she's just gonna love it, I know she is. So the first thing I picked up are these LOL top trumps. Um, again, she's into card games. She loves playing like Uno and Double and like for her birthday she got Happy Families and Old Maid and things like that. So they're just really good like handbag toys. Not that I need them at the moment because obviously we're not going anywhere. Um, but these were in the sale at Boots. They were like on clearance on the end. And these were, I think they should have been like six pounds and I paid like one pound 80 for them. It was an absolute bug. So she's gonna absolutely love those. Um, I have picked up this sticker book from b and It says £1.99 on the sticker, but I actually only paid 50p for this, so it's an absolute bargain. I basically just got it for all of the stickers. There's 600 stickers in here, um, and I think she's going to love those. But there are like activities and stuff she can do, um, but I don't really think she's a little bit young. She might sit down and do it, I'm not too sure, with a bit of encouragement, but we shall see. So I picked that up for 50p, which is a bargain. I also managed to find a towel in the sale. So P decided that she was suddenly into LOLs quite late in the year for me when I do my shopping. It was about September time and I was like, oh, okay, how am I going to negotiate this? Luckily, I managed to get this in the sale. So it went down from, I think it was 7 99 to five. And it's just this princess towel. Hang on, what does that say? Always on point. You see, it's like a ballerina. And then it says, LOL down at the bottom. She's gonna absolutely lose her shit when she sees this. I know it's just a towel, but she's gonna absolutely love it. Um, so like I said, that was from B&M for five pounds. I'm really happy I got that because some of the towels are quite expensive. I think they're like 12 pounds in Argos. And um, Jessie's not paying 12 pounds for a towel. Moving on to the dolls. We have already got one of these. I got them in Morrison's again back in the summer. They got reduced to £1.50 and I think they should have been four fifty or 5 which is really expensive for what they are. Like they're tiny. Names and title, tiny toys. Um, so she's got this one. Series one. Just a little extra for her to open. And then in Argos, um, did I give her one of these for her birthday? I must have done, because I don't have it here. So again, you probably would have seen it. Um, LOL Fuzzy Pets. I paid £3.50 for this. And they're still being sold on like Amazon for like £10.99, which is ridiculous. So I'm really happy that I got that one. I assume like you wash the fuzz off or something. I don't bloody know. So she's got that one. I know these are the older style, but she's not like a massive hardcore fan where she knows like the new series and stuff are coming out. She just loves the unboxing style of it. Um, also in the Argos summer sale, I picked up two sets. I'm really glad I got two of the little ones, the little babies. She really likes her little ones. Um, so it was a two pack for £3.50, which is a bug. Um, so it's either you either get a baby or a pet, I think. Um, so she's got two of those, or two sets. So she's got, she'll have four little figures in there. And then you get um, like some accessories as well as the pet and stuff. So she's got those. Again, in Argos, I picked up the fluffy pets. So this is one where you like rip the fur off and stuff. Um, this, I think this must have been Christmas last year. So you get the, um, the bottle, some hair accessories, 
some actual accessories and then things like that there we go so that is the fluffy pets and again that was three pounds 49 something random that i'm going to do i picked up these stickers in morrison's i paid one pound 50 for them um i was really lucky to find those i've been trying to find big stickers like this for ages and i couldn't find any and then i just found them on the whim so i've got those and what i'm going to do is i've got this box from hobbycraft i'm sure you've seen the hack um, but it's just like a little um like bits and bobs what is it called pink glitter caddy um and I'm going to stick all of the LOL doll stickers on there. And then what she can do is, open you up. She can store all of her LOLs, like all of her little accessories and the bottles and the clothes and everything can go in here. Um, and then she can keep her dolls and things like that at the bottom. I just thought it was a really good idea to keep them storage as opposed to just having them loose in a, like a Kallax box. You can get these in loads of different colours. I really, really wanted the turquoise green, but they the only one they had was broken and it was beautiful. Um, but they have it in like a Cadbury's chocolate purple, a baby pink, which I didn't like, see-through. And they had it with black and gold flecks, which was quite cool. I got that one for my friend. Um, but yeah, I think, and I also had silver. I just think it's a really cool idea and then it'll be her special LOL box. Because they're so expensive, I want her to take care of them um, and sort of give her that responsibility to make sure she doesn't lose things. Um, so I think the box will really help. And this is seven pounds from Hobbycraft. So I managed to get that before everywhere shut. And then finally, I picked up a couple more LOLs. So we have got the LOL Surprise Boys Series 2. I just wanted to get her a couple of boys. She did receive a couple for her birthday. I just wanted to get her a couple of, couple of, couple more. Um, just so she's got like more like roles that she can play with and things like that. Um, so I got this for um, 8 99 and then it went down even lower and that really, really pissed me off. Um, 8 8 99 for this like this is so expensive um but i know she's gonna love it so i've got her that one and then finally i picked up two of the furniture play sets so she asked for the ice cream one i had to go all the way to great yarmouth which is like a 30 minute drive so we made a day out way before lockdown two um, and went to, I think we went to McDonald's and had like a nice little walk along the beach and then we also went to Argos to pick this up. Um, so this is a second series, these went into the sale in Argos, like I said, they went down from 16 99 to £10.50 I think. Um, so I managed to get ice cream, what is it called? Ice cream pop up. So if you don't know what these are, the lid comes off and then you open up the box and it turns into, into like a little play set. Um, whether she will actually do that or not, I'm not too sure. Um, but she's got that one anyway. And this one comes with the ice cream stand, the girl, which I think she's really cool. Cake, no, not cake, a table like seat, um, some little ice creams and a spoon. I can't get over how expensive as well, so I really can't. Um, and then I also got Road Trip, which I think is really cool. She hasn't asked for this one, but this comes with the little, um, like, little Tykes car and the cart. And then it's got, like, little accessories for the car, um, some stickers, the doll. And then, obviously, you've got the playset, which is, is out, like, like, a car park. Um, but I thought what was quite cool is that she could put the doll in the car and then she can put her little ones in the little pulley thing so and again that was 10.50 or 10.99 in argos back in the summer that's everything that's everything that i've got paid for christmas this year obviously she will receive gifts from um family as well and i'll probably include that on like my christmas day vlog i just find that i like to get this up during vlogmas for inspiration for others um and also when I show from everyone like the birthday one, it is very like excessive and I think it comes across quite quite braggy and it's not that at all. Um, but I will show you what P got for Christmas from others 
at the end of like Christmas Day or something. Um, hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration. If you know of anywhere where I can get more cheap LOLs, please let me know. I am really, she doesn't need it because of what she got for her birthday. But I really want to get her the camper van. And if she's still into it next year, I think I'll get it for her. I was so close to getting her the coupe. I'm filming this before Black Friday. So, uh, I can't say that this is it and she's not going to get any more. If I can get the, the coupe for like 20 quid, I might do it. She doesn't need it, but she needs it, but she doesn't. Oh, it's just, just too much. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.